let's take a close look at the HP ProDes 400 G3 mini desktop. This is the ProDes. It's an HP. At the front, it has two USB ports, two headphone audio port. One is headphone alone, the other one is headphone and mic. Right here, that's the status indicator. <clears throat> That's for the hard drive and the power button. The front has some vents. The back, this is a Wi Fi and Bluetooth antenna. This here is the display port. This is the serial port, VGA port, USB port, internet port, and power in port. This is where you would plug the power supply. <clears throat> and it also has some vents here. To take out the access panel of this ProDes 400, it has a thumb screw right here. You would turn this from screw. It doesn't come all the way out. It stays in so you won't lose it and you would push gently. Once it moves, it won't go all the way, it would just move slightly. Then you would lift. Inside <clears throat> the unit, this is the hard drive. Below the hard drive, you would get the SSD. It has a slot for an SSD. This is the cooling fan. Below this, there are two dim rail slots for memory. It um, supports um, memory from, or as small as what would be in a laptop. Underneath this is where the processor will be. And uh, the processor is as big as um, one in a CPU. This is what the front of the unit looks like. Here is a speaker. It has a built-in speaker into it. These are the components I showed while the cover was on I don't know if you could see this here this is if you enter in, into the BIOS and it has a password you would take out this jumper to clear the password. If you need to get to the memory, you would simply lift the fan, take it out, don't tug on it because it's connected, and this is the memory right here. <clears throat> It has one stick, the other one is empty.
then you if you notice here it has a pin there and a pin there you would put it into the slots and it goes onto that you would simply press it down until you hear click the hard drive to remove the hard drive you simply lift the hard drive would come forward and you would lift gently to replace the hard drive you would put it down make sure it's in push slightly put the cover down and close and this is it for this video if you find the video was entertaining please like comment click on the bell icon so you'd be notified of further videos in the next video i will show you all how to change the bias battery and the slots for the ssd to put the cover back you would simply make sure that it goes into the grooves and you would simply push and tighten the thumb screw this is it for this video see you in the next one goodbye